On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding and dead wire detonators on the new Jack Volt Storm aftermarket part for the Storm Ender. This allows the Storm Ender to fire a lethal bolt capable of hitting multiple targets. Let's go test it out. Well, the day is finally here. My most anticipated aftermarket part has finally been added into the game and it might be our last. So if you're not familiar with the Storm Ender, let me fill you in real quick. This is probably one of the worst weapons I've ever added into zombies. It does absolutely nothing outside of tier one besides just slow zombies down. So it does have a little bit of a use, but now with this aftermarket part, it should actually be lethal. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out in all three tiers real quick. Doesn't even look like we can aim down sight with it, but we can shoot it. Ooh, it's got a charge up time now, a pretty long one. Ooh, wait, does it charge up for as long as I want it to? So let's click it, let go. Okay, weird. We're gonna have to get used to this, but it does kill without Pack-A-Punch and without upgrades in tier one, which is more than it did before. Now, how are we doing in tier two? This is a light armored zombie. I'm gonna charge it up as much as I can and hit him with it. Did it even do anything? Did it just completely miss? Oh, there we go. So it does do a little bit of damage, but it's not like one shot killing zombies like it was in tier one. And it looks like it even has a bit of an accuracy issue, even went up very close to the zombie. This is very weird, but I hope it can actually do something. And I'm pretty sure we all know how this is going to go. Let's try it out here in tier three. Yeah, it's not really doing anything to these zombies. Let's throw a quick decoy so we can get a better look at the damage amount. Let's start lighting these guys up. Barely anything actually like almost not even visible okay let's get out of here and just like the normal storm ender down on the bottom right we have absolutely no ammo count so i guess bringing maga holding in here probably wasn't the best option but maybe it'll let us shoot faster without having to charge it up but let's go ahead and get this to legendary and get it to pack three is there anything different with uh shot time yeah definitely way faster now don't have to do anything and i just killed a zombie i didn't even see There's, okay you see this light armored zombie all the way over here can this kill it Nope. It did do a decent amount of damage to that tier three zombie right there. No way. Is this actually good? Is this actually decent? Oh, uh, I'm actually starting to get a little bit hyped. But since there isn't any reload, I guess I'm just going to throw Maggle holding on just to clear up the inventory space. And then we'll get our golden armor plates on, our bandolier. But I'm going to wait a little bit before I use my dead wire detonators. I want to see what this thing can do without it first. Let's test this out against a tier two HVT real quick. I didn't have that much hope coming into this game using this aftermarket part that I was actually going to be decent. Ooh. Still looking like it has some accuracy issues here. I was just about to gas it up, but I didn't have the most hope with this weapon coming into it because our last few aftermarket parts have not been good at all. I can't even remember the last good aftermarket part they added in. And it's not looking like it's doing that much damage to this mimic here. Maybe we need to bring them outside. Maybe it's not an indoor gun. Can we still charge it up though? No, we don't even have the charge feature at all. So I guess we can just spam it. It's doing all right damage wise. Definitely way better than the normal Storm Ender, but so far not looking like like the greatest weapon to use against any elites this might strictly be a zombie killing gun if it's accurate enough there we go ding maybe it's lacking a little bit of damage because we don't got dead shots so let's go ahead and grab every perk and how are we doing against tier three zombies now the hellhounds went down in one shot normal zombies looking like a two shot kill is there any like accuracy difference from firing from right here just hip firing or if i hold down my ads button at the same time like, does it somehow make it still a little more accurate, even though there's no animation to it? It's kind of looking like it a little bit, slightly, but it can handle tier three zombies, which before it would do absolutely nothing to them. So I'll take that all day. Let's see if we can actually do anything against the storm caller with this. Let's hit him with a few shots. It does look like it still does the electric damage to him. So we get a slight elemental bonus on them. And it is killing the zombies in the storm pretty decently. Like this seems to be very good against zombies, but still yet to be seen against elites. Oh, we don't have that bad a damage on him right now. We can stop him from healing too. That's huge. Can we break his mask at all? Can that be broken? Not looking like it so far. And it's like doing a, a nut hair of damage each time we fire it. You can barely see it on his health bar, but it's still doing something. We just got to make sure we stop him from healing. Definitely not the most optimal weapon to be using against this guy, but it's working. It's doing something. It's actually got all the zombies confused. They don't even want to try to fight me right now. I don't know if it's still doing the old storm ender effect where it's slowing them down, but they seem kind of slow for being here in the storm. Maybe they just feel bad for me for trying to use the storm ender. They don't know that this is an aftermarket part for it yet. But we got him like almost a half health. 
we're making our way there. And this is looking like the max fire rate for it. I'm absolutely just spamming my click right now. So it's not insanely slow. Definitely way better once it's pack a punch. But I, not, not the number one fire rate out there. We just knocked the storm caller into the ground. What the, what are you doing? Oh yeah, come back. There you go. We just sent him to hell real quick and he thought it, it might be a little bit better up here. Either way, you're trapped. This is purgatory. Oh yeah, call in more zombies. That'll help you out. I just need about 20 more minutes of shooting this thing and you're done, buddy. You just wait. And it looks like we can still shoot it while even using our field upgrades. Some weapons like pump action shotguns or any sort of weapon that you need to like bolt back won't let you use them while activating your field upgrade. This though, you can use it one-handed. You can one-hand this bad boy. And we almost got him killed. It's just taking pure determination here. And I have not left the storm a single time. So that's been good too. Sometimes I have to leave the storm to just kill the zombies and get them away from me. Or just like recover my health a bit. But we've gone through my entire gas mask. Almost my entire health bar. And he's almost dead. Come on. You're going down before I am, pal. That's for sure. Sit. That's actually insane. The storm ender actually being able to take out the storm caller. What a day. Oh, and we almost made it out without going down. He had to hit us from the grave. Storm caller's got Marty Dom. Now let's really test the damage on this. Let's try a tier three HVT. Please be an abomination. Oh, it's a mangler. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. I'm just glad I can get a contract in tier three. I am a little worried because what we saw earlier against armor, it didn't really do that well. And uh, looking like it's still not doing the greatest against armor. We can still see like noticeable damage on him, but it's not, it's not great. But he does seem possible to kill. And we can just stun him a little bit. He's getting like heavy flinch every time we shoot it. The mangler can't handle the smoke. You don't want it. Can we like break his gun or anything? Can we get something broken off of him? We got him almost a half health with nothing broke. Come on, dude. You know you want some of that armor to break, maybe even your gun. He's trying real hard to get over here to us, but he's hitting that flinch every time. And it does seem like it's knocking zombies over. So this is actually like a huge upgrade over just the normal storm ender. Cause not only can you use it as a support weapon still, I mean, slightly, I'm getting hit a little bit here, but now it actually can do damage and kill things. Like this whole horde of zombies before here in tier three would be impossible to take out. Now it's somewhat possible. Definitely able to kill these zombies, but they are getting more hits on me than I think they would with the normal storm ender. And we're almost there on our mangler. Come on, buddy. Oh shit. Just go ahead and kick the bucket already. Go down, go to sleep, go to bed. Oh, he's almost there. We almost got him. Can we actually even hit him from back here? Oh yeah, we're doing a little bit. We got him. So bounties are definitely possible to take out with this. This might take you a little bit. This bounty for sure has to be an abomination. Please let me fight one with this. Let's go. We're gonna be in for the fight of our lives. I feel like this fight is gonna take us the entire game to do. Unless it surprises us and actually does pretty decent. But not looking like it's doing the most right now. Can we at least break a face maybe? No? All right. One more laser abomination, I promise. I got it on the next one. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a decent chunk of health gone so far. This is actually doing something. I'm proud of you, Stormender. You figured it out. All you needed was a complete rearrange of your, your innards. We just needed a whole ass aftermarket part for you to be decent. Oh, and here comes a laser. Come on, one of these faces got a break. I wonder if I need to specifically aim at one with this or if just the spread is doing enough to each face. Oh, there we go. Middle one's gone, so we got two more to go. Please do not help me out here, buddy. I need you to leave. Get out of here, scram, skedaddle, yeah. There you go, don't don't bring my abomination with you. No need for that. You leave him alone, he's mine. We don't need him going and healing. All we need is a second face to be broken. We got him to half health. We're making our way there. Definitely way faster than I thought it was gonna happen. And let's get another face broken. The one on the right here, gonna be gone. Nope. Stop shooting the laser. I have not seen the crit hit marker pop up once yet. Either that or I just haven't been paying that much attention. I don't think it's possible to hit crits with this. So I don't even know if uh, Deadshot has that much of an effect. Besides like tightening up the, the hip fire spread. And I don't even know if this thing has any hip fire spread. All it does is shoot hip fire. I don't know if it makes any difference. But can we break this other face, please? Or just one more? Maybe two? No? All right, dude. Oh, this guy's trying to shoot a scorcher at it. Leave it alone. 
He's mine. Come on, the face has got to be gone here. This is like the third laser. You got to be kidding me. At least he's close to dying. He's, he's right there. He's on the cusp of death. On the brink of death. Oh, this will be the last laser you ever shoot, buddy. Oh, a second head's gone. When did that happen? He's so close to dead. Please. Let me get the final hit. Get out of here. We don't need any helpful Harrys. Everybody wants to be so helpful while I'm testing out a weapon. When I actually need help, they leave me for the fishes. Well, we got him. We actually took him out with a Storm Ender. I think now it's it's safe to go ahead and try this out with dead wire detonators. We'll try this in an Aether Nest. Can we even take out spores with this? I do not think so. Spores are immune. They are entirely immune to this. Okay, cool. Awesome. Good to know. I guess we'll just do another bounty instead. Oh, and it's another abomination. Perfect. We'll see if we can kill it a, a bit quicker than the five minutes of constant shooting it just took. Is this doing any more damage to you? It's looking about the same. I don't think it's making that big of a difference. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, it might be doing slightly more damage. I feel like we're getting him a little bit lower, a bit faster than we did before. Oh, and he's dead. So yeah, this is probably the best weapon in the game. Definitely didn't die to a glitch or anything. He just quit out early. He didn't want any of that. Ooh, actually, give me Shatter Blast, too. I'll save that for a second because I want to see how this does without it. But Shatter Blast should make it so it goes off a bit more often. But we got to see if it's even going off with just a normal Storm Ender here. Do these count as explosives? Doesn't look like it so far. Yeah, I haven't seen it activate. Weird. Okay, all right, let's throw on uh, some Shatter Blast. This might be like the only weapon in the game where Mag of Holding and Dead Wire Detonators does not affect it at all. Like it doesn't do anything. All right, I got a pretty good group of zombies here. I'm gonna send a few blasts at it and see not only if we can take out this horde of zombies, but if Dead Wire Detonators is gonna activate at all. Oh, nice abomination. Now's the time to shoot a laser and take all the zombies out. Perfect. I'm trying to test over here, buddy. Yeah, walk away, scram. All right, let's try again. Okay, it looks like Shatter Blast went off and took a good amount of them out. But I have not seen Dead Wire Detonators activate at all. I don't think it works with this, even with Shatter Blast. Either that or I'm completely blind, but it's still looking like a two-shot kill even with Dead Wire Detonators. Actually, I did just see Dead Wire go off. So I guess it does activate sometimes, whenever it feels like it. Can we survive a tier three outlast with this? I'm assuming we should be able to. But I want to see if it can survive, like, a constant onslaught of zombies. Like, I can just sit here and spam this. I'm thinking we should be all right. But with its inaccuracy, some zombies might slip through the cracks and actually be able to hit me. And I feel like I can't see anything on the screen besides the zombie's health bar and the little, like, electric blast this thing's sending out. It is entirely too dark in here. So far, so good. The zombies are getting way closer than I thought they would. Like, it's not really doing that much damage while they're climbing. It's like their entire bodies are getting covered by the stuff they're trying to climb up and it's barely doing any damage. That's weird. What a weird niche. You would think the, like, a little electric damage would still travel through whatever surface there was. But we are actually getting mobbed over here. But we're just barely making it through the outlast. I don't know what this weapon's niche is. It seems like it just does a little bit of, like, both. Like, it can do some damage, and it can work very sparingly as a support weapon. Like, it doesn't really exceed expectations at either. Like, a jack of all trades and a master of none. Ooh. Messing up the disciples, though. Maybe it's literally just a disciple killer. A very slow one. And I don't even know about support weapon, because I, I was thinking it would make every zombie flinch, and it's making some of them do it, and they're walking noticeably slower. But other ones, they just fight right through it like it's not affecting them. I don't get it. Now, I'm definitely happy that this thing can actually do something in Tier 3 now. This would not be my go-to Tier 3 weapon. Like, I really don't see a reason to bring this in. Because it loses all that power of completely slowing zombies down, at least consistently. And now that it can do a little bit of damage, is like, it's a fun gun to use. Definitely more of like a, a weapon where you want to challenge yourself with it. But it's still like not the greatest out there. It's a fun weapon though, I'll give it that. But there really isn't anything that it like excels at besides maybe letting you take damage while you're shooting. I feel like this is going to be another one of those guns that absolutely dominate in tier one and tier two and they're just kind of there in tier three. I just want to put this to the test real quick. Is this thing still a monster in tier one? We have a giant group of zombies here. I'm going to fire one shot. It killed a decent amount of them. There's a whole lot of dead zombies right there. 
does look like it one shots in tier one if it's uh, accurate enough to hit. But it's still got this weird accuracy thing where I feel like I'm shooting right at them and it's not touching them. It's weird. I didn't feel like I had that issue with the original Storm Ender. I think the little aftermarket part description might be a bit wrong because I haven't really hit too many zombies at one time. The only time it really happens is when Shatter Blast goes off. But you saw all that group of zombies there. I fired it and only killed one. Shatter Blast there takes out multiple. Probably not going to go off again. So let's give it a second. Fire. And I killed one zombie there with that shot. I feel like it might be a bit bugged. I feel like I should be hitting multiple zombies at once with this. And then that would really bring this weapon to the next level. I have to like individually shoot this at each single zombie. And this is probably going to be a huge mistake. But let's do it anyways. Let's go ahead and head on into the newest Dark Aether and see if it can hold its own there. And just in case we're feeling a bit frisky at the end of this, let's uh, go ahead and open up this spore and maybe we'll fight the entity if we uh, have enough self revives by the time we get through these contracts. But against zombies here in the Dark Aether, it looks like it's doing the same amount of damage that it was doing in tier three. So nothing really changing, and it's not hitting multiple zombies at once, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and knock out the maze. I'm pretty sure I can still do it from memory. No device required. Oh yeah, I think we got this. Just gotta throw another decoy, keep the zombies away. Go to the decoy zombies, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we go through here, through here, this way. And we should be done. Yep. Let's trade this in for the USB. Give me that. And let's see if we can survive this outlast. Can I even get to the contract before getting killed? There we go. Oh, I don't know if I canceled it somehow, or maybe you don't even pick up the bunny with the storm ender. So that could be a positive for it. I'd have to go through the whole animation of picking it up. I have a feeling this is about to go very bad. Oh, hellhounds getting smoked. Zombies getting smoked. Everything getting smoked. Ain't nothing touching us. Okay, everything's touching us. Mimic, go away. Scram. We're gonna have to start using cashmeres. It is not safe here. These elites are taking almost no damage from this. That cashmere helped out so much. Oh, and here comes the, the main elite. What is it? Is it a mimic? That's not good. We're not doing a whole lot to him. Little aether shroud. He still grabbed me through the aether shroud. You little bitch. But we might be able to survive this. We're making it through for now. Please don't knock me right at the end. There you go. Now, despawn, please. Thank you. What do we get from that? Not a whole lot. I guess I'll take the extra self-revive. We're going to need it. All right, spore contract time. Oh, yeah, look. It actually does not even activate the bunny animation if you have the storm caller out or the storm ender. There are too many storms. And I guess while we're knocking out this contract, I've been getting a few questions while I've been streaming if I'm going to continue the Pimp My Gun series or people saying they're going to miss it when BO6 comes around. I'm still going to continue this series into BO6. Now, it's not going to be exactly the same because we're not going to have like MAGA holdings and deadwire detonators and things like that. But we will have augments that I'm sure there's going to be a few weapons out there that will definitely benefit from some of the augments. It's just going to take a little bit of time to, you know, get used to the whole new system and get back in the swing of things for round base and just to figure out what weapons do the best with what augments. So I will be continuing pimp my gun into BO6. Just going to be a little bit different. But it's looking like the Stormender can handle the spore contract here in the Dark Aether at least a little bit. We're able to take the spores out. Did we get anything good for it, though? Eh, pack three crystal. That's not terrible. I'll take that. Now the real challenge. Can we do this escort contract? Give me that. And we'll see if we can make it through. I'm thinking that it's going to be a struggle because the mimics on this usually do an insane amount of damage to the ACV. And this isn't doing an insane amount of damage to the Mimic's back. So maybe we'll get lucky and not many will spawn. I can already see one running this way. Oh no, we already got two Mimic's on it, maybe even three. And I can't even get them killed. Oh, oh here comes the third one. We're already at 70%, less than 70%. We're not even at the first stop yet. Please, please go down. Die. Leave me alone. Come on. There's no way we're already at 30%. This is not killing literally anything. I haven't seen a single kill pop up. There we go. Finally got one mimic down. We're at 18%. I think it's safe to say we're not making it through with this one. Oh, wait. Can we get another mimic killed, though? Yeah, that's right, buddy. I showed him. Yeah, this ain't making it. We ain't going too far. Goodbye, ACV. Oh, shit. 
Goodbye, me. Let's see if we can even take down the key carrier. I don't think this is going to do a whole lot to him. How much is, are we getting off of this? Basically nothing. But we're determined. We'll get it done. Maybe. Because we are getting swarmed. We might need a cashmere. What is this? An insta-kill, please? Nope, double points. Whatever. Where did my cashmere even go? Hello? Just got eaten? All right, cool. I don't even know where the key carrier is. He's deep inside here, hiding behind his army. I'm just going window to window, trying to find a, a line of sight on him. Oh, he's got no damage done to him. This is terrible. He has absolutely no damage on him. We still have a whole 15 minutes. Uh, I think we might need a bit more time to take him out. I'm going to start throwing thermites on him. We got to speed it up somehow. They are sending everything in the Dark Aether at me. There are so many zombies here, so many elites. I'm surprised that we haven't already torn through all of our self revives. This is bad. Oh, we got a cashmere. Finally got one back from our bandolier. Please take these zombies away from me. Come on, we got them below. Please die. I just want to try this against the entity. <gasps> is that an insta kill? It is. Holy shit. Can I even insta kill anything here? Oh, I can. You need to get out of here, key holder. Be gone with you. Give me that. Finally. Oh, shit. And they spawned in every hellhound ever over here. Stay back. Please. Not cool. Not cool, guys. Leave me alone. Please stay away. All right. It ain't getting much better from here. Let's unlock the door. Get in. Uh, Wonder Waff, don't need it. Let's just let's just get out of here. And I'm really hoping that this one thing that it can do, or that it's good with, is taking out the entity's orbs. That's the one last thing that we can try. It'll be amazing if it can just one-shot the orbs. We're about to find out what's going on, entity. I'm also the entity, if you didn't notice. We're basically the same. Oh, I'm getting hit markers on it. Oh, you can take out the orbs. No way. You can actually hit them. Okay. We might actually be able to take down the entity with this. We're going to get her. Accuracy be damned. You're going down. Come on. One more orb. Perfect. We just have to do that seven more times or something like that. Can we hit her from back here? Oh, we can actually. This has a bit more range than I thought. Let's use a cashmere though. Keep the zombies away. And let's just focus solely on hitting these. Which is not working very well. This is extremely inconsistent on where I'm trying to shoot it. Nothing is going right. Come on. Two more on her. Do not teleport. Do not teleport. Do not. Okay, whatever. If the accuracy was just a little bit better, this would be a monster at taking her out. But I'm barely hitting these orbs. She's making us work for it. One more here. Please. Why can't I hit it? There we go. Let's throw a decoy to start. And we're getting there. We already have her to half health. We can do this. This is definitely possible. I would have never thought I'd say I could take down the entity with a storm caller or storm ender. See, I keep getting it maxed up. But here we are. It's possible. There we go. Holy shit. We're doing it. I was literally hopping in here for, for like the joke of it. I didn't think we could actually do this. But it's working, and it's working decently well. I say as I'm completely whiffing every single shot here. Come on. Oh, no. Get up, get up, get up, get up. She's got one more orb, and we can get some good damage here. Please. No! We have three self-revives left. I think that's plenty. We just really got to not mess this up. Come on, we just need one more, like, clean run. Maybe two. And then she's done. Throw a quick decoy. Let's try to get any of these broken. There's two of them. Three of them. There's four. Last one we need is the hip. No. Stay back. Come on. Got it. Let's go. One more run through and she's toast. Starting out with a decoy. Let's clean this. Let's clean it now. Well, Aether Shroud too. Perfect. Got two of them down. Two more. Come on. 
One more. Oh, she's literally one health. We got this. Good night, entity. See you later. Let's go! We actually did it! Holy shit! Get out of here. Scram. You just got taken down by the storm caller. Storm ender. Damn it. One of these times I'll say it right, but it do not matter. With two self revives to spare, what are we getting for that? Really not the best loot, but that's fine. I'm just proud of the storm. Storm ender. Got it. Oh. <sighs> Let's get out of here. So I guess overall opinion on the Storm Enders aftermarket part, the Jack Volt Storm, it's it's all right. It's definitely a huge step above the normal Storm Ender, at least in terms of damage. It completely loses all of its like support ability when using this aftermarket part, but it can kill things. We took down Mega Abominations in tier three, albeit very slowly, and we took down the entity with it. So it's not like it's completely terrible. It's just like very inconsistent, not only with its accuracy, but its damage. And it doesn't seem like it can affect many zombies at once. It only hits like the one thing you're aiming at. Unless like Shatter Blast or something else goes off. But it's definitely a fun aftermarket part. And I'm glad this is our last one because it's just so crazy. They throw it on the Storm Ender for the very last one. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.